Hello guys, in this video we are going to be talking about Stable Diffusion 3.5. So on 22nd October 2024, Stability AI released Stable Diffusion 3.5 and I've been playing with this and you can see these examples, these are pretty cool. You can see a bat hanging upside down, you can see the prompt on the top here. A beaver architect, a bison DJ, a chameleon blending into a rainbow colored wall, a dolphin librarian, a duck in a raincoat and boots, a fox sipping coffee, pretty cool, a frog wearing a chef's hat, a giraffe in a painter's smock, a goose playing chess, a hamster detective examining clues, we have hedgehog artist painting a sunset, kangaroo boxer in the ring, we have koala in the hammock, we have Lion King holding a royal scepter, llama in a spacesuit, a meerkat in a safari hat, a panda in pajamas, parrot pirate, and whatnot. Another set of examples is the person, as you can see, ancient forest here. You can see ancient ruins, autumn breeze. We have the harvest time. We have beach day. We have classic dinner, classic painter. Coastal escape, cottage core, countryside stroll, cozy autumn, desert wonder. We have cyber visions here, enchanted evenings. This is pretty cool. Then we have enchanted libraries, enchanted tea party, ethereal glow. So, all these examples, these are pretty cool. And since this is a busy person's guide I'm gonna show you straight away how you can use this on your own they're releasing stability AI is releasing stability diffusion 3.5 now we have three versions first is the stable diffusion 3.5 large then we have large turbo and then we have the medium and this can be customized to run on different hardware. So you can do different fine tunings, different LoRa versions, different checkpoints to get you started. Now you can download all the models from Hugging Face. So you can go to this Hugging Face library. And here you can see we have Stable Division 3.5. You can just click on Stable Division 3.5 large here. And you can test this out here. But I'm going to show you in a cloud GPU how to use that. So you can go to GitHub. And we are going to continue from here in uh, just a minute. But before that, I'm going to show you uh, the features that we have. There's 8.1 billion parameters with superior quality and prompt adherence. The base model is the most powerful of the Stable Diffusion family. So we are going to test out the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large. Then we have the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large Turbo. This generates high quality images with exceptional prompt adherence in just four steps. This is a distilled version of Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large. Then we have the Medium, which is a 2.5 billion parameters with improved MMDITX architecture and training methods. This model is designed to run out of the box on consumer hardware. If you look at the ratings, uh, you will be able to see that it can adhere uh, to prompts better than Flux 1 Dev, but in terms of aesthetic quality, we have flux one still uh, at the top also where can we run this so you can see that for running this we need for example stable diffusion large and extra large or large turbo we need this 24 gv vram at least to run this so since my hardware doesn't support this i'm going to be using a cloud gpu known as novita ai and I have a link you can go and sign up for Novita AI for some free credits but you can go and click on start building now here we have the deploy GPU instance you can deploy any GPU so this is going to be a quick guide on how to get started on any PyTorch templates in order to get started I'm going to go ahead with uh, 6088 GB so what I can do is I have already an instance which is running and I'm gonna go to that instance so once you start up an instance what you can do is just go and click on connect and then click on Jupyter Labs here so once you click on Jupyter Labs you will be brought to this location
where you are going to have an empty thing here i'm going to close everything first and then let's get started so you would have an empty space here so what you can do is you can go to this terminal here and in the terminal what you need to do the first and foremost thing that you need to do is to go ahead and apt get update so once you do this this is going to fetch the names of the current versions of the different libraries that are available and this will set you up for installing everything so for example if you want to install uh, let's say the git library this you can do with the simple command and it is going to download the latest version because you have done this app get update if you don't do that then there will be issues version issues while running this thing so what next next what you can do is go ahead and install this so pip install diffusers torch and the transformers here so if i click here and I see that I've already installed, but you need to install that. And you need to install the Hugging Face Hub. So pip install Hugging Face Hub here. And then you need to log in to Hugging Face. So I can say Hugging Face dash CLI, then login. Now we need to put your tokens here. In order to get the tokens, what you can do is that you can go to Hugging Face here. And then you can go to the access tokens here. Once you go to access token, then you're going to go here and create a new token here. Or you can, if you have the older tokens, you can just invalidate and refresh here and take the new key here and uh, paste it here. You won't see any changes, but this has been pasted because input will not be visible. Just press enter and add token as get credentials and say no. And this will be added. So the current active token is prompt engineer now that works now uh, you need to have uh, been granted access to this model as well so if you go to this page stability ai stable diffusion 3.5 you need to have uh, granted access to this model so for example if you don't have access to this model what you can do is you can go i'm going to show an example for example let's say i don't have access to this 3.5 medium just a minute Let's say this is a medium, so I don't have access to this. So what I can do is that I can just punch in my name here and the email ID, the country, and then the affiliation and just select an option and personal use maybe and just click on agree and access. So you have been granted access to this model. So in this way, you will have access to this model. And now you can use that here because now you are logged in with your access token of Hugging Face. So once we do this, we can say CLS. Now the, the work is done. So clear here. And now I'm going to start up a new Python notebook here. And in this notebook, I'm going to paste in a small piece of code here, what I've been testing out. So this is uh, the piece of code. So here, what do we have? We have import torch. Then from diffusers, we're going to import this stable diffusion three pipeline. Now pipeline is a high level classes which are designed to rapidly generate samples from popular trained diffusion models in a very user friendly fashion. Okay. So we have the stable diffusion pipeline and from pre-trained. So we are extracting the pre-trained variables, uh, or weights and biases of the already trained model which is this model and then we are going to put in these parameters torch data type is torch dot b float 16 and we're sending this to cuda because we have the nvidia gpu uh, you can see that we have nvidia nvidia or you can run the exclamation here nvidia smi and just run this we can see that we have CUDA version of 12.4 and we have this 48 GB GPU we are using NVIDIA RTX 6000 so now what we have is that we are using this pipe to generate uh, an image and this is the prompt here and let's say hello panda and then we're going to say number of inference is 28. The guidance scale is 3.5. There are different variables that you can change. You can change the weight height for a list of detailed variables. I'm going to paste in a link. You can go to the diffusers library of Hugging Face and search for this 
class of uh, diffusers and you can search for this class of stable diffusion 3 pipeline and you're gonna get a different parameters that you can tune so we're gonna take this and you're gonna save this as let's say capybara 1 png and i'm gonna run this so if you run this what you are going to see is that it is going to load up the pipeline components here and it's going to generate here so it's generating in 28 steps let's wait okay the 28 steps are completed now it's trying to save so we have this new image here let's wait for it to open and you see this hello panda this is pretty cool now what i've been testing out is uh, these functions so uh, I'm going to show you from the start if we run this what we should see what you should see is that it is downloading everything it and it will definitely take some time because uh, you know about 6.3 on GB 9.9 .9 GB so those things needs to be downloaded and after that download it is complete you will be able to generate this now I've been testing on different examples for example these are the different prompts that I have and for each of the prompt I'm generating and I'm saving this as the name of the prompt here and, and dot png so the images that you were able to see these are the images which were uh, generated using that uh, process next I am taking some more prompts of a different varieties and for that I am generating the human uh, folder here so you can see these uh, are the images which I've generated further images now in order to get the prompts for this you can go to any famous places for getting the prompts such, such as civet ai if you like any image you can copy the prompt or in my case i've just asked uh, chat gpt to get me the prompts i've given one example and it gave me on the 50 examples to try this out now you can use this and integrate in your workflow you can see the potential you can see the images that you can download now above all i am really excited about this technology in summary stable diffusion is great and now you know how to run on a gpu so congrats and i will see you next time with different integrations of different softwares if you want to support me please subscribe and please share this video like this video join my patreon if you want but i will see you next time and this is stable diffusion 3.5 bye bye